Okay, um, History of the World Part 2, Interview with an Urban History Authority, take one. Yes, now Mr. Schnizzle, as you know, yeah, yeah. there were several <sighs> deep events in American history. Which one do you feel was most important in our modernization? When uh, O.J. Simpson killed that bitch. When O.J. Simpson committed the murders, that's what you feel is the most deep impact of history in society today. Okay, maybe not. Maybe when uh, Martin Luther King. Ah, yes. Or when Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Ah, okay. Well, that was a very, very pressing time in history. Now, the Civil War. What are your thoughts on that, Mr. Schnizzle? Um, I think that them dirty whiteys. History of the World Part 2. Interview with an Urban History Authority. Take two. <clears throat> All right, well, Mr. Schnizzle, I understand that you have some very deep insight into American history. Yeah, yeah. What would you care to tell is, dear God? Oh, just, just a second, that's my cell phone. Second. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, hold on, this is my, this is my bitch. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't talking about you, baby. No, I wasn't talking about you like that. No. Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, I like that one. You gonna wear them for me, baby? Wear me? Yeah, you gonna wear them for me, baby. Uh, you better D. wear them for me, homie baby. Homie D Schnizzle. What do I need? What do you want? We Don't have you see I'm trying to talk on my phone? This is the problem with you people. You always think you're so goddamn smart you? when you don't really know a goddamn thing. No, baby, I wanna talk about you, baby. Yeah. Mr. No, no, Schnizzle. I promise I wasn't cheating on you last night, bitch. History of the World Part 2, interview with the British History Authority. Take three. Now, from what you told me, you believe that when Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, that was quite a deep impact. Well, it did serve a lot of American lives, and how do you think it has affected your life personally as a struggling black man? <laughs> uh, do I look chocolate to you? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> I must be a white just gonna chocolate eat your fun, baby, because I ain't, I ain't no chocolate. I don't see brown chocolate. I only see white. Let's do f Take uh, seven. Now I'm to understand that you like watermelon and fried chicken. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, I like me some fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. I love me some fried chicken. And with the invention of fried chicken, when it was invert invented by Herman Melville in 1986, how do you think that would ultimately come... Herman Melville didn't invent chicken. Who invented chicken, then? Colonel Sanders. Ah, uh, the good colonel. Yeah, but KFC just shit. But after he <laughs> destroyed the Nazi army, don't you think he kind of sold out? When he went to open he, that he franchise. He did defeat the Nazi army. He did? No. Oh, well, you are the history expert. Please Martin tell me. Martin Luther King Jr. defeated. With which weapon? Nazis. With which weapon? The weapon of freedom, justice, and liberty. Black power. Is that, is that a sign of aggression, sir? No, it's not a sign of aggression. Oh. Oh, I got that nasty itch. Is that the uh, nappy poos? I heard they're a brand new form of lice. Most common among. I ain't got no lice. I clean your hair. What the bitch are you talking about? Well, <clears throat> what it's other deep things. historical it's impacts small. in the world do you think you believe are most important? You know, when Tupac got shot. That was a very tough time. A tough time for all the world. The black community, the urban community. So how has urban life been progressing in the 2000s? Oh, they're pretty good, pretty good. Um, more mac and cheese around. Um, Kool-Aid, finer than ever. A well of Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid well. This is a really hard part for me to play. <laughs> but well, I'll try my best. 
with the rise in Kool-Aid production, do you think that has anything to do with the war in Iraq? Well, based on the laws of supply and demand, the people want the Kool-Aid. And production of the Kool-Aid has been pretty good. So price is basically going to go reach a, a, you know, a decent equilibrium according to the current market standings. So, as long as um, that pussy-ass Bush keeps on uh, keeping our pussy-ass troops in a war that we don't need because he hates, he hates all of us, think, think, think about Katrina for a moment. Yeah. Where, where's that Kool-Aid at? You think President Bush had something to do with Katrina? I think... I think President George W. Bush... I think President George W. Bush... <laughs> I'm gonna get this clip, but I don't care what I say. <laughs> I think President George W. Bush is responsible for Hurricane Katrina. Well... With that in mind... Do you think he's also responsible for the big three numbers? Nine one one. What? Nah. September first, two thousand one. You no. don't think he's responsible for that? No. Well, what about nine eleven? Oh. Nah. I think it was all them uh, A Rabs. A Rabs. All them uh. Them ten Muslim kind of people up in uh. Do you think it's a coincidence that? Arabs sounds suspiciously like a rapper, like someone who raps. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Are, are you trying to say that that my people are, are terrorists? Because I am a rapper, you know. I got a rap prepared for you guys today, too, even. <laughs>